Yo, coming out of Grumble the way your wife upon I stumbled. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Cage. Today and only today, we are here to talk about Sonic Rumble. That's right, the closed beta happened over this weekend, and I got to play a lot of it, so I'm here to tell you all about it. And as always, if you enjoy the content, you do your boy that nice favor and subscribe to your boy, like the video, and let me know what you think. Let's not sugarcoat it, and let's get right into it. So Sonic Rumble, for those of you that don't know or are, are aware, just want a little more info, it is a mobile game for now. Uh, that is a 32 player online, I believe, game uh, that falls in the line of the Fall Guys like, right? Where you are basically doing platformer challenges and typically it'll swap between doing a race or survival or having a team battle or living with the most rigs. And it's pretty simple in that aspect. Like that's really what it comes down to. And the characters are all in this nice little chibi style that makes sense for a mobile game. And I gotta say, right, inherently, this game is fucking fun. Like it is super fun. And when I say that, I mean just everything about its aesthetic and vibe give off a happy feeling right and we're gonna get into a lot of the stuff like the controls and the level design and gameplay but inherently like first impression is just i had a great time playing this and i can see myself playing a lot more which is of course why we need to start by talking about the gameplay now this is a really big deal right because we don't have many games like fall guys on the market and i used to love fall guys right i loved the idea of finally having a battle royale that was in my territory and a lot of hours right? which is like platforming right so having these platforming challenges has always been like such a good you know part of that game and having that for sonic feels like it makes a lot of sense now the gameplay for me uh is a mixed bag right in terms at least of how it feels because right you can see from the gameplay it's slow right you can tell the characters are not moving that fast and for me that is like my first big like red flag that i hope they fix is i understand why they're not going ultra fast i understand why you can't be speeding this it almost feels like it could use a bit of a speed bump because the game wants you to go fast like there's a bunch of like platforms that make you go faster there's a bunch of boost but like it feels like the game wants to be faster than it is and it makes arbitrary ways for you to go faster but i would just much rather the characters just move a little faster now aside from the speed up right the game typically has three control options you have move you have a jump attack and then you have a homing attack and i've tried this game with both touch screen and controller i think controller is definitely the way to go and obviously now nowadays it's super easy like literally if you have a pro controller or an xbox or even a playstation just sync it to your phone's bluetooth and it works right away right buy one of those backbone things just place your phone somewhere and i think you can just play with a controller and have a good time but if you're playing this game on like a bus or the bathroom or in your bed or whatever i think the touch controls are pretty serviceable it does feel like it's too cluttered sometimes like that and that's always the problem with these mobile games like you'll see the button prompts on screen and so the ui just feels really cluttered but i just I, like from a gameplay standpoint it feels good you also do have a double jump and like i said you have a homing attack and what's interesting is a lot of people point this out you don't have a spin motion when you're in the air right like you don't go into you know the the homing attack or the ball or whatever and i think they do that just because there's a lot of players on screen at once and if you saw like 10 people jump at the same time into a ball you would 100 lose track of your player even if you're your name is above your ID. There's moments where I lose track of my character sometimes when there's a bunch of people huddled up together. And so right off the bat, I enjoy playing the game, but I gotta say, like, it, this is the stuff that needs to be ironed out. Like, it needs to feel a bit smoother to run around. The jump needs to feel a little better. Like, it doesn't feel like my actions have weight to them, right? And it doesn't feel like I'm ever gaining speed. I would love if you went down a hill and you got maybe a bit of a speed boost for doing that. Or just maybe the game just give you more options to go faster because again sometimes there's power-ups where you can go fast like the game clearly wants to invoke that but it doesn't want it to make it its inherent speed which again i understand it's a mobile game it's also a fall guys like and also there are only three levels in a set of rounds and they don't want them to end that fast and i'm sure they had a big back and forth internally about okay like if we reward high speed players the other people are gonna feel shitty because someone's gonna know a good tech to go down a hill with super sonic speed jump to the side you know forward with momentum like i, I get why they didn't do the things they wanted to but for the most part it's enjoyable it's serviceable on the gameplay service level now let's talk about the heart and soul of this game which is the level design right obviously a game like this lives and dies by if the levels and challenges are fun and this game first of all aesthetic wise 
takes a lot from Lost World. And I mean a lot. I'm talking about the lava areas from Lost World, the ice areas from Lost World. There's like two sky areas from Lost World. This game loves Sonic Lost World. It even has like the forest area. It has music remixes, which the music remixes are really fire. They all have this sort of jazz style to it, which is very dope. It's, it's really good. It's not Otani working on the soundtrack, but whoever did it popped off. And so like I said earlier in the video, typically the matches range between a race or a ring collection mission, a survive mission, and a team mission. So let's start with the race missions because to me, I think these are the funnest. I love these missions. These are typically the one you will start with and sometimes the ones you'll end with where it's a race and you also have to collect the most rings, which to me is the most fun because this is these are the levels to me that feel the most Sonic, you know, where you have your loop-de-loops, you're jumping forward, you're doing some platforming challenges. Like this to me is where the game really shines and they are honestly have a good variety there's a chemical plant one where you're going down a slide like i said there's an ice area which i will say the ice area is probably my least favorite because it has this one moment where you are slowed down by the ice in front of you and there isn't really a way to move forward and i know they do it so that the characters in the back can catch up but just i don't like that at all right but there is a lava area that's really cool you get shot out from a cannon it's got some good platforming challenges the main green hill like area is very fun toy like cartoon like there's some fun level design here you know there's some cool boost pads there's a lot of there's grind rails too like there's a lot of stuff in it that makes you feel good and there's different paths so i will say inherently the level design of the race areas has been really good like i said i just feel like if we have a bit more speed you know a few more options of like where we could go like maybe if you went to the left somewhere found a grind rail to go on or you could choose the bottom path you know to get a boost pad that would be really cool like make the levels even more fleshed out but for the most part it's awesome there's even one level that's based on starlight carnival from sonic colors and that one is really cool right you're like walking on those little rainbow paths but again the game has an issue of being a little slow where sometimes you're just kind of standing on it waiting for it to move forward there's another race area that i really liked which is a sort of sky area that you're just kind of bouncing on these clouds before you go to further areas you're hitting these balloons which hitting balloons in some of these levels with the homing attack is your way of moving forward because typically there will be some balloons if you bump into a chain of them you'll end up going you know on a boost butt or a trampoline or whatever and you end up being forward so there's a lot of cool ways to you know catch up or be forward in the race but it's also important to keep your rings in check throughout these rounds because you have three rounds and it's important to collect a lot of rings throughout them if you can because typically the final round is going to be a round which is about survival and having the most rings and these rounds for me are hit and miss. Because look, I like the idea of whoever has the most rings wins, right? But there's this one mechanic in this game or this one ability, right? Which is like the super ability where it is busted. I mean, you literally reticle, you know, homing into someone and you fly to them and they lose a shit ton of rings and that you, they don't even drop on the ground. They just go to the opponent's body. And this mechanic can be infuriating. Like I'm talking about, you could be standing in a spot and three people could end up using that on you and it can be hell. And while it's satisfying for you to use, I feel like they need to balance it a bit more you know like i feel like they need to find a way to either make the homing attack you need to be closer to someone to do it or just not as punishing because it does feel like when you get hit by one you lose so much and it's rng where like they end up placing at the end randomly like you can just get really unlucky and you get hit you don't spawn next to one of those ultra homing attacks and you're just ending looking up left and right where to go and what to do and you're fucked and when it comes to survival mode there's two in the game's so far and they're really cool so there's one where the death egg is on this platform and he's trying to kill you right he's just spinning around he's moving and it's kind of stressful sometimes because he'll just do this spin motion and you won't know which direction he's about to take so you just gotta dodge around then the platforms are falling on the sides as time is going on he does like a big wide attack that takes a lot of the map that you gotta go stand on a circle on you could even inherently push someone off if you get that ultra homing attack move somewhere in the level so there's a lot of cool stuff there and i think that fight is probably one of the cooler survival ones you also get a chance right if you get knocked out once in that challenge you get one more chance otherwise you are out completely and the second survival is actually 2d level where you are running away from you know a giant big fish and i gotta say really cool idea to have a 2d level in this right i know obviously people always on 3d and 
Sonic, but I think in a game like this, having one level that makes sense for Sonic, right, this is a good one, right? And it just falls into like a f cool little platforming challenge. You're hitting these boxes to go forward. Some of them might trick you and they're just a bunch of rings. Some are the path forward. There's some enemies along the way. So it does a good way of like trying to stop you, but never feeling too annoying. I felt like the fish running away level was a pretty solid one. I like that survival round. And then we have the team games, which these have always been hit or miss for me, even in Fall Guys, where, all right, so, so far, I think there have been two of them, right? So there's one where you push these balls, right? There's there's balls that you're pushing forward. Uh, you do a bit of a platforming challenge, right? And then you push another set of balls, right, into these holes, I guess, pause. You end up doing a bit of an enemy gauntlet. And then the last part of this team game is infuriating. This is the one I don't really like, where there's these three pipes that you're going to try to get into that open briefly. And this to me is just frustrating, right? Because it, it's just sort of RNG and you've got to hope the pipe that's in front of you opens up and typically I'll get in, right? Or I won't get in and my teammate will and it's just struggling to get in there. And I think it, it could be fun, but I feel like sometimes it gets more frustrating than it is because the jump feels so slow and because the jump in the game is pretty slow. Sometimes jumping into the pipe, you feel like by the time you jump, the pipe has closed again. And the second team game is one that I'm also kind of iffy on, but I think is a good idea. It's this ice level where you're all in a circle and these giant lasers pass through. And if the giant laser hits your team, uh, you can save them by hitting them. But if your opponent hits them, they go flying off and they get a point. So I think I think inherently this is a good idea i just think sometimes it can feel a little too much going on you know i feel like sometimes you're just kind of waiting for 50 lasers coming at you and you're just sort of jumping out the way and it can feel a little crowded but i think once they bounce it maybe if they made the arena a bit bigger it will be better but for now team mini games just have never been my thing like even in mario party i just don't like the team games i, I usually like doing these solo but i get why they're there there is one level that i gotta talk about right where it's it's these two levels actually where you're in a giant circle and they're levels from sonic lost world and one of them is the owl right you have to hide from this owl while getting all these power-ups on the ground or not these power up these like flowers you got to bloom them on the ground the idea is you want to mash homing attack but you can't spam homing attack because sometimes one of the flowers will spawn into a bomb and if you cut count yourself mashing you're gonna hit the bomb and you're gonna lose rings and this mini game drives me crazy and i can't tell if it's because it's a skill issue or because I don't like it because sometimes I'm like damn this is actually pretty satisfying to get the points here but then it's a, it's that greediness and I think that's sort of the point right when you get greedy mashing the homing attack that's when you get screwed over but like I said the game definitely has a problem with coming back I, and I think that's an inherent issue with these last rounds is it's hard to get back up when you're losing because once you don't have a lot of rings and the guy in first place does there's not really much you could do to the guy in first place especially in a round like that where it's all depending on the individual play and honestly for a closed beta of a game that's coming on the winter really good variety though of levels I, th I think they did a good job of having you know whether it's different bosses or different types of modes or even multiple maps within those modes I think there's still a lot they've been doing with it which I think is really good and it's obviously going to come down to how frequently they update it and speaking of updates and further stuff we got to talk about the biggest part of this game which is the mobile aspects right this is a mobile game and so you can already tell from the UI what you're going to be spending on and everything so let's start this right the roster the roster really good right i gotta say it's surprising how many characters they already have in there you're gonna you have variety you you have your main cast with your sonic knuckles tails amy shadow but you also have vector in there right away you have spo in there right away you also have zavok for some reason you also get crystal zavok because who didn't want Crystal Zavog? You've got Silver. We know Blaze is in the game. We know Jet the Hawk is in the game. So there's a really good amount of characters. And I can already see where they're going to make their money. I mean, you can see in this beta, they also have costumes from the murder of sonic so you've got little detective tales you've got the rouge and the tycoon fit so there's a lot of cool different costumes and i can already tell that's gonna be their money maker right it's gonna be when they have big events where it's hey you can unlock super sonic right hey you can unlock you know sonic rider side because some of the characters have their riders fit you can get amy in her riders fit you can get eggman in his riders fit you can get silver you can get sonic with the soap shoes like there's a lot of cool stuff they're gonna be doing and there's even character exclusive 
emotes that you can unlock in the game and i'm sure those are gonna make money so you can already tell what's gonna happen here right now i can't really give you a good gauge of whether it's fair or not because for this beta they flood you in coins so you could just kind of play whichever character you want so we'll see when the full game comes up but i could already tell that between the custom emotes you know the custom stickers the legendary skins the epic skins the gotcha in the game there's gonna be a lot of ways for them to milk your money and i i hope it's a good balance of you know making it fair for the people that are playing versus the people that just want to pay and get the character because you can even already see that the game has two battle passes it has the inherent battle pass for just playing and then it has the premium one which the premium one is actually themed over the year of shadow which makes me think the game is going to come out probably november or december if that's the campaign they're going to launch with another thing that's cool about the game is you could do these red ring challenges and the way i think the way it works is you can go to these red, red ring challenges and you can unlock different backgrounds for the menu which is cool you could be in a green hill background if you want you could be in a starlight carnival background i'm sure they're going to be adding more backgrounds as more levels from the series pull up and also these red ring challenges are sort of your single player content because these will typically be levels where you are going to the end of the level within a certain speed amount and you're just doing it alone instead these honestly are not that bad it kind of highlights that yeah this is better as a multiplayer game because running around these levels alone just feels slow and like i said that is still my biggest issue with the game as we get to our final thoughts on this is i have fun with this game i think it is really fun but i can tell obviously it's a game that's still in beta and they're taking feedback and hopefully know this video gets to them right because there's the things i need one i need the speed to go up 100 please second of all custom matches i know that actually in the game you can see that there's a custom match option so that's really good i want more stages and i also want a content roadmap right because a game like this is gonna live or die by its player base and i am begging for a pc or switch point just at, at the very least those two man. because a game like this that requires 32 players in one matchup is is like a lot to ask for and i feel like just the more players you would just let in the gate the better right and we know from midori that you know sega's planning on putting a lot of their mobile games on console i just hope this is one of them because i can totally see how good this would be on switch or pc because the frame rate is really good the gameplay is really solid and it's it's easy it's three it's a three button layout so no matter what machine you played it on it would make sense and i want a bit more balance like i said there feels like sometimes there's an issue towards the end where you just blatantly have a disadvantage i think some of the ultimate attacks could be a little evil you know but it's it's fun you know i was playing the game i just lost track of time just because these rounds go by quick and that's another compliment i give it you know because it's a mobile game they don't don't go on too long sometimes when i play like something like fall guys i feel like i'm in around for maybe 20 minutes and it's a really long time right but here i feel like you know it's three rounds you're in and out and the rounds typically don't go longer than like a minute and a half or two max except maybe the finale but they did a really good job making something fun here making something different because we really don't have a multiplayer sonic game like we just don't and so to have that finally you know and have that be as fun as this is i'll take it and it's all gonna depend on what they fix how they monetize it how they update and everything so guys let me know what you thought about the time you had maybe with the game and let me know what you guys think of my thoughts what would you like to see from the game and of course i love you i'll see you all next time peace out